Hi, welcome to an editing video. Now today I'm working with my blue ice icicles here, which, uh, it being Connecticut, and it being the winter, we have a chance to get snow and ice, which we did, um, which is lovely. Um, eh, it didn't really bother me too much today because I didn't have any plans to go out into the real world. So let's just uh, close out of this. I'll talk about whatever this is later. Uh, I don't know what we got going on here. So I'm going to, what I am going to do is, what are you going to do, Carl? I'm going to copy this one. And I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to call it uh, new four, because this is my fourth take now. Not my fourth full take, thankfully. If it was, I would be a little more distressed, but I think I got, you know, I, I expect this to happen. Uh, unless I'm super duper organized. And this is part of me organizing, is doing different takes. Videos take different takes. Um, you know, I'd love to do everything one take, bam, boom. Um, but it doesn't work that way. Uh, hopefully this is going to be nice to me. Okay, I'm going to save this as something. No, okay. So let's go here. Okay, so it looks like, okay, it's going to be really difficult for me tonight to go ahead and um, go through everything. So what I'm going to do, and this is a good technique for your, you guys to learn, and I still don't have my laser pointer on me. <laughs> I haven't been able to find it yet. Um, you see that black right there? Now watch, when I put the mouse cursor over that, look what happens. Magically changed to reset. So what you're going to want to do is double click with your left uh, mouse button. Ooh, and bring it back to the zero point. And that's something... Lot is very useful. I'm not sure if there's um like a, I know that, well I don't know but um I think there should be a tab that resets them all but I don't remember where it is at this point. I haven't really used this um you know just started using this heavily again and they've made a few updates and, and I don't remember everything. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I deleted all that. Okay. Deleted all of my highlighting I did in my last video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my exposure and contrast all the way up. Because I want to know what I'm doing with this, okay? I want to know where this is going. Okay. Okay. So we're going to do this quicker this time. Because um, I've done this four, at least four times on a video so far. <laughs> Uh, I've had various problems, sound issues, uh, camera stopping issues, uh, me getting confused issues, <laughs> all sorts of fabulous issues. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. So I don't even know. I don't. I've forgotten what I've mentioned in all my videos, but okay. So what I'm going to do, I want these to be seen, so I'm going to up the exposure a little bit, but I don't want them to look really too cartoony because the judges that I am don't like that. I have a style, and they like a they like a more natural style, and they like my more natural style, and I think they expect that out of a lot of their photographers. Um, they want fine editing. They don't want cartoonish editing, so I can't really go crazy with the sliders here because they'll notice, and they'll be like, well, like you know. <laughs> they'll notice, and they um, won't put it through, basically. It won't go anywhere. It'll just be thrown out. It'll be thrown out, but you know, it'll be there for gallery purposes for people to go ooh and ah when I put my crazy, crazy fun edits up there. And I know that's what they are. But sometimes I like to test my boundaries just to see what's accepted. I know they do have guidelines and you do go into their um, IMs, you know, the rules and stuff like that for what the judges use. So I don't like to annoy them too much because um, then they're going to stop looking at my photos all together and just decline all of them, which I don't know. If, I've never had that problem before, but I could suspect, like, you know, if 
you do it says well actually it does say in the policies that if you put you know, if you keep putting a lot of like crop photos like tons of them or re-edits um, they're gonna get rejected because they don't want to look at all that stuff they don't have time for that you know if I put 20 edits of one photo up they're gonna <laughs> the judges are gonna be like oh my gosh <laughs> what is this <laughs> because it's, it's a lot of work to look at the same photo I mean come on and let's uh, adjust my tone curve a little bit here for this photo this is what I did um, because I like to see that peak right there. I'm trying to see what that peak is and then just trying to make it for where I want it the best to be by eye. See, this is too high. Can you see the, um, the blooming right here? You don't want that unless you're doing like a stylish edit for people that are non-judges might like that. But the judges, they don't like that. They've made it known. They don't like they don't like hard edits, and that's what I call a hard edit, is when you do really kind of cartoony um, stuff. And I'll do that once in a while for my own personal use, like the thumbnails, you know, like that help thumbnail I made. I'm, I know that's a cartoonish edit. Um, that's what they like on the, for thumbnails on YouTube, um, for the most part. For some things, I mean, that's just the style I wanted to go with because it was a blog. It's a good thumbnail for a blog because it creates interest in whatever I was talking about. It's like, hey, what happened to what happened to such and such? Oh, and you know, an update to that is that it turns out it wasn't what I thought it was. Um, he might have um, he might have an infection in his mouth um, and he might be bleeding from his mouth. Um, that's why the blood was so intense. He did, I didn't see anything bleeding, and he didn't show like he had any pain. But me and the veterinarian are working on the matter, and every he's okay now. There's nothing going on. So we're watching it very closely because I do want him to get better and stick around with me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I would do without my little buddy mascot. And I've had him for a while since he's been a tiny kitten. We had, we had a funny meeting <laughs> when me when when I when I first met him. It was a, it was a very interesting uh, <laughs> it's a very interesting story about how me and Tristan first got thrown together. But um, that's not for this video because uh, I'm just doing this right now. So I think this looks great. I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead. I still. Have a little bit of time left here before I hit my 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 mark. Uh, I got about two minutes or so, something like that. It's close. So I'm gonna export, and I'm not gonna bother with Photoshop right now. I'm just gonna export to desktop, desktop, select folder, boom. It's gonna go out onto my desktop, wherever it's probably gonna pop out right here. There it is. Yay! Let's do. Let's call this as Edit Four. Hopefully. Yes, hopefully final. I think I made this name just because I was so frustrated, but it happens. I get frustrated with the videos because they don't go the way I want and the way I planned. So I got mad at my videos today. Um, yeah, put that straight in the junk folder. <laughs> so anyway, these um, these trees are by my infamous dumpster. My, um, it's not a public dumpster, it's a private dumpster, and there are rules, um, and I live here, and it's very noisy when I'm in my office to have, you know, outsiders come in here and make a lot of noise with, with their non-mufflered cars and just toss giant things into these, <laughs> like their Christmas trees, and it, I know this happens, I've seen it happen before, I've seen outsiders, people I've never seen in my life, and I know don't live here, um, uh, just tossing because I know most of the people those cars that live here and it, you know I know outsiders I, I've lived here for over 10 years I know who the outside I know how to spot an outsider and um, yeah so there, I, I know the Christmas tree stuff's gonna start happening this year and you know that affects me and that affects the whole community because I just want to you know I need to get rid of my trash uh, I can't have a real Christmas tree because I'm allergic but anyway, that's enough about me um, so anyway so this is my frozen uh, pine trees the dumpster is right underneath it I'm looking up from my dumpster <laughs> so I was throwing something away actually yeah I was throwing something away while I was taking photos and, um, and this there's a street light right here that's shining down in this and making this golden effect on that and I think that looks really cool I'm probably gonna just throw this up on my gallery as is uh, I'm not gonna even touch it 
Uh, it's not the, I mean, it's not the, it has problems. It has cropping problems. And maybe I used the, um, the camera crop. I'll figure that out later. But I just wanted to throw something up on my desktop real quick to um, have something nice to show and talk to you about today. Uh, you know, something I could put a story to. So I believe with that, that's going to wrap up our video. Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is that you see that kind of, I have a, um, the vintage light on the left right here. And I have my GVM kind of going that way because I'm trying to get rid of the, it was, there was a reflection on the screen when I put it over here, but I have it kind of highlighting that side of it. And I think it looks cool for the videos. Um, that is an accent light. These both are accent lights. Um, and I think it makes the videos look a lot better. I think the lighting adds a lot to this. Um, and that's what uh, a lot of indoor photography is all about, is about lighting. Outdoor photography, it's a little different. I've been doing outdoor for a long time. Indoor, I've been, uh, I wouldn't call myself um, a super duper indoor photographer, but I'm getting, I've gotten a lot better. Um, but, you know, still, I mean, my outdoor photography is my best. And I won't make any claims that it is, <laughs> or something else is better because it's not. But it's always good to work on new things and learn new things. I like to grow. I like to expand. I like to um, be a thinker, not a doer. And that's just me. I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, uh, stay safe on the roads and everything like that. If you live in Connecticut or an area affected by um, in the Northeast that's affected by this uh, storm system. All right. Take care. Thank you. Have a good one.